Hello everyone, my name is Rachel Bittner and I'll be presenting our work entitled A Lightweight Instrument Agnostic Model for Polyphonic Note Transcription and Multi-Pitch Estimation. This is a joint work with my co-authors Juan Ho, David, Gabriel, and Sebastian. This work falls in the realm of automatic music transcription. Automatic music transcription is the task of converting an audio recording like this into a higher level representation of pitch events over time. Because this task is difficult in general, in order to make progress on this topic, we often design models under more limited conditions. As a result, the majority of AMT models are instrument specific. That is, they're designed to perform well for a specific instrument such as the guitar. This assumption naturally breaks down if we try to apply an AMT model built for a particular instrument to a recording of a different instrument. Another constraint that has helped EMT research progress is to only consider monophonic audio. That is, audio where only one note is present at a time. These models typically are instrument agnostic, but cannot be applied successfully to polyphonic recordings. Finally, as we've seen in many other applications, in order to improve model performance, we develop models with increasing computational complexity, and AMT is no exception. Large models are both computationally costly to develop, but are also too heavy or slow to run in many end-user applications. Here, we'd like to highlight two different levels of representation in AMT, frame-level AMT and note-level AMT. In many recordings, notes do not have a constant pitch. For example, in this recording of a singer, you can hear that each note evolves with time and can include variations such as vibrato. Frame-level AMT encodes fine-grained pitch information over time, whereas note-level AMT groups the information into note events with a center pitch. The majority of AMT systems output one or the other, but typically not both. In this work, we propose an instrument-agnostic AMT system which supports polyphonic audio, both frame and note level estimates, and is computationally lightweight. The proposed systems, Notes and Multi-Pitch, or NMP, consists of a neural network that outputs three posteriograms, which are then post-processed to create note events or multi-pitch estimates. The input to the neural network is a CQT, followed by a harmonic stacking layer, which was chosen to reduce the model size. After a small series of convolutions, the model outputs a first posteriogram YP, which has a frequency resolution of 3 bins per semitone, capturing finer grained pitch information. This posteriogram acts as a bottleneck layer, and after another small convolution stack, this model outputs YN, a note activation posteriogram with 1 bin per semitone. Finally, given YN and a latent representation of the input audio, the model outputs YO, an onset activation posteriogram also with 1 bin per semitone. These three outputs are trained jointly using a binary cross-entropy loss. We train and test NMP on a wide variety of open source datasets which span many different instruments and musical genres. We evaluate note event accuracy using three metrics. Note level F score is computed across note events, where notes are considered matching if they have the same pitch and if both the onsets and the offsets are within a tolerance window of one another. The second metric is the same as note level F score, except that notes may be considered a match even if their offsets do not align. Finally, frame level accuracy is the macro F score across the notes broken down into evenly spaced timeframes. As a baseline, we compare with the MIAMT model published in 2020, which is also a polyphonic instrument agnostic AMT model. This model is trained on MusicNet, which is not part of our training or test set. This table shows the average note event metrics on all test datasets for the baseline algorithm and NMP. The instruments in each test dataset are depicted above each column. We see that for all datasets, NMP outperforms MIAMT despite being a smaller and simpler model. We perform a first ablation study to examine the effect of the supervised bottleneck layer YP on the note event metrics by removing the supervision on this layer. We see that removing the supervision on YP results in a small but significant drop in the note event metrics. We perform a second ablation experiment examining the effect of the harmonic stacking layer by removing it, in turn reducing the receptive field of the model. We see that this results in a significant drop in metrics, validating that harmonic stacking is an effective way to reduce model capacity while maintaining performance. Next, we compare how NMP performs when compared to other instrument-specific models for vocals, piano, and guitar. Compared with the vocal-specific model, NMP is comparable but slightly worse in metrics. For guitar, NMP performs substantially better than the guitar-specific model. 
Finally, for piano, NMP performs significantly worse, but still has relatively good performance overall. As a final experiment, we compare the peak memory and the runtime of NMP and the baseline models. We see that NMP is much lighter in terms of memory usage compared to the baselines on the order of gigabytes. It's also faster in terms of runtime, operating much faster than real time. For more details on these experiments, see the paper. Here's an example of the output of NMP on a guitar recording from the test set. The input sounds like... And here's the estimated MIDI. Here's another piano example from the test set. and the estimated MIDI. Finally, here's an example of singing voice from the test set. And the estimated MIDI. The model still has a number of limitations. The note creation process, detailed in the paper, is parameter sensitive. Badly chosen parameters can cause a relatively good estimate of the posterior gram YN to still result in inaccurate note events. Next, in cases of non-standard tuning, notes will tend to flutter between semitones. Overall, the output of the posterior gram Y0 is noisy, and we note there are lots of false positives. Finally, while the model is computationally lightweight, we did not explore classic model compression techniques, which could further reduce the model size. We make the code for this repository open source, which you can find at this URL. As a final note and extension of this work, we'd like to mention that the posterior gram YP can be used to estimate pitch bends attached to note events. If you'd like to discuss this more, please come visit our poster. In conclusion, we propose an AMT model called NMP that is instrument agnostic, supports polyphonic audio, estimates both notes and multi F0, and can be extended to notes with pitch bend, and is faster than real time and lightweight enough to run on a web browser. We compared NMP with a recent polyphonic and instrument agnostic AMT system and showed that it outperforms it while being smaller and simpler. We compared NMP with other recent spe instrument specific AMT systems and we showed state-of-the-art results for guitar, but non-state-of-the-art results for vocals and piano. Finally, we performed a series of ablation studies showing that harmonic stacking and joint prediction of pitch contours improves the note estimates. Thanks very much for your attention. If you have any questions, please visit our poster or see our paper online. Thank you.